That'll help. Well, hello, everybody. I am Spectacular. That's my name. Typically, what I do on this channel is I do videos about coins and precious metals. Today, it will not be that. It will be me going to a local indoor gun range with my new weapon, a Barrett M82A1 semi-auto rifle. Really, really cool weapon. Um, it's a big deal in my little world. So I brought some friends to the indoor gun range and their names are Steven Tyler and no, it's not the guy from the band, but uh, Steve and Tyler are gonna come with me and shoot this big old gun. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm back from the range. I'm just going to talk real quick about the gun. I'm going to actually put it together, disassemble it. Uh, also, at the end of the video, I'll show you a quick little clip on how to tell if your ammo, um, if you do have this kind of gun that they really restrict you when you go shooting, um, if it has a certain steel core, uh, how, how to tell that real simply. Uh, so make sure you watch the end of the video for that. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun at the range. Um, all my friends got to shoot. Uh, they had a great time. They were talking about it, you know, a couple days after even, so we're still talking about it. Uh, really neat. Uh, the range guy that you've seen there uh, that was shooting, um, he actually had never shot one of these before, was in the military, and was just sitting there watching us shoot and looked like, you know, he was like really missing out. So I asked him, I said, have you ever shot one of these before? He said, no. And so I go, hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you take a shot real quick? And, uh, you know, just one shot, you know what I mean? It cost me, you know, a couple bucks in ammo just to give him a little fun. So I thought that was kind of neat. And he said, I'll never say no. <laughs> you know, so he went up there and he shot and he was, he just had so much fun. And, uh, you know, as a token of his appreciation, he said that uh, when I'm done shooting, he'll, you know, clear the line and uh, go out and pick up all my brass for me that's out in the, in the range so that uh, maybe down the road, if I want to do reloads on those, I can. So that was very nice. Anyways. Let's put this thing together. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll grab the part with the barrel. So here's the part with the barrel. And the thing you gotta do is stretch it all the way out. So you pull the barrel out. This is the, the heavy part, if you ask me. So out as far as it goes. And this is a 29 inch barrel. So there's also a, a 20 inch version, I believe. All right, there we go. So it is out to the, to the max. And what you have is like this little um, plastic uh, or rubber stopper right here. This should be all the way 
down to as far as it goes and you'll see this little groove right here and there's a spring so you got to take this spring and you got to fit it down into the groove so the best way i found to do this is just to muscle the thing and get it down in that groove like so and then once you get in there a little bit and it's there you just kind of push it in right a little little punch with your with your palm so once that's in there and secure uh, that part is done so now you get the lower and you just pull straight down with these right here the little bipod and you pull straight down and then out and now you've got a nice little stand to work with. So, and by the way, I cleaned this thing all up after the rain. So it is all clean. So that is, you know, good. You want a nice clean gun. You don't want all that junk and stuff, you know, stuck in your gun. So there's a couple things you want to pay attention to here. First is this little groove at the end. You're going to need that because part of the gun's going to fit into there, the upper. Uh, also, you have two pens in the back. You have a front pen and you have a longer back pen. Go ahead and take the back pen out. Set it aside, you're gonna need it again. And then go ahead and take the bolt, pull it back slightly, because you want some tension off of this uh, smaller pen. Pull that smaller pen out and very carefully while still holding that bolt, just barely release it. If you don't hold onto that bolt, it's gonna shoot it forward and then it's just, you know, something extra you have to do. So no need to do anything extra. Uh, okay, now next, pull this back and let's get that, that little groove that I told you about earlier. I'm gonna take uh, the lip that's right here in the front um, below the barrel. And I'm gonna put that inside of that little groove. Once it's in there, all you gotta do is come back over to the other side and grab that, that little handle on the bolt and bring it back slightly. You wanna bring it back just a little bit, not all the way back, about to about halfway, because you have to close that thing all the way down. So you're gonna push down on the back of the barret and then slightly release that bolt. So now it's in place. Now those two pens you took out, the little pen and the big pen, the shorter pen and the longer pen, whatever you want to call them, you put them back in. Large pen goes in the back and short pen goes up front. Your, if your front pen's not going in very easily because it's not tough to do at all, uh, then you know what you did is you didn't put that, that lip and that little groove together uh, correctly. So uh, there you are. At that point, you just put the magazine in and you're, you're good to go. It goes in much like an AK-47 magazine. Rocks back, and then to charge it, of course, you grab the handle on the bolt and just let it go. Sounds great when it gets let go, doesn't it? Now let's see if I can get a whole shot of this thing. It is on my bed, let's see. Without cutting my hand and my fan there. Uh, it's a big one. It definitely is huge. It's a huge, it is a huge gun. Wow. And it's not tough to disassemble. I'm gonna do that real quick because I need to put it back in this box. Just do everything backwards. Grab that front pen, take it on out. They have those little rings on them. So you pull that ring out. That's the front pen. There's the back pen. And then pull straight back to get those things, the lip out of that groove. Maybe rock it a little bit. There we go. Put the bipods down, pull out and back, out and back. For the upper, this is a uh, finger pension nightmare if you're not knowing what you're doing. So there are some grooves here on the side. You can try to get something to pry in there if you're having problems to kind of push this little um, little half moon shaped kind of piece out. Uh, or you can just go ahead and just muscle it, take your fingers and do one of those and it will come out. So that's that. And like I said, be careful with your fingers because that would be bad news bears. And then once you're there, you're good. And that's that. I tell you, when you shoot it and you are to the sides uh, of somebody else in the range, uh, it's a miserable experience if you're the ones in the side of it because you feel all that blast every time the thing shoots. If you're behind it, um, it's almost like a like a split second concussion effect. I mean, it kind of almost just just millisecondly knocks you out. Millisecondly is that a word? No, it's not. But it just knocks you kind of weird. <laughs> it's, it's weird to say, just for a brief brief moment. I will say that uh, my friend who was on the right-hand side lane, uh, he had his target brought back and he was looking over it and seeing where he shot. And then I ended up shooting on my lane and uh, the blast from that muzzle ended up ripping his target in half almost. So I had a big rip down the side of it. So it is very powerful. Uh, not powerful enough to hurt anybody, don't get me wrong, but there's just a big blast effect. And so if you are in the side lanes from somebody, it's, it's a miserable place to be. So um, it's very loud. 
and uh, it drew a lot of attention. People were coming up to the window behind me, you know, watching me shoot. So uh, that was kind of funny to see. Anyways, that's the Barrett 50 Cal. Uh, it's awesome. It's MA2A1. That's the model number. Um, it's a cool, cool weapon. Happy to have it. Uh, can't wait to shoot it again. Uh, wasn't that big of a deal at all to clean, by the way. Pretty simplistic. Um, but yeah, man, I, I want to do it again. I want to shoot it again. Let me know what you think about the video. If you like seeing videos like this, you know, gun stuff, um, you know, cool, cool. We can do more of that. If you just want to stick to the uh, precious metals, uh, I'm not saying to leave the channel, but just, you know, maybe just only watch those videos. You know, you have options. So uh, if you hate on this one, go watch the other ones. Cause there's plenty of stuff on this channel to keep you interested. I think anyways, I'm going to show you that little ammo clip so you can see which kind of ammos uh, might uh, be better for range ammo with a gun like this or even other um, larger caliber guns. I got to go for now. Spectacular is out.